Hello there, guys. Welcome back to my channel after long, long, long time of doing nothing. I have been really busy doing commissions and stuff like that. And I'm back with the camera. I'm down here to the corner, but this time I'm not here with a tutorial or not here to talk about uh, how to say it, a review or something like that. I'm here because something changed really changed in my personal opinion. Substance Painter is officially uh, owned by Adobe completely, 101%. I remember the last couple of years, they acquired, I think, Substance Painter. Everything was cool. I realized about some small changes. I'm a, a four years user of Substance Painter, honestly, and I love this software. From so many years ago, I even used Substance Painter when was fully from the Allegro Rhythm um, enterprise or company, but Adobe got Allegro Rhythm. And you are seen here on my screen sharing or in my screen recording, sorry, um, what Substance Painter got, what you got from here, what, um, what have changed. And... If you try to buy it, it redirects you to the Adobe web page. So I'm going to try to do this in more <laughs> sure possible. And I'm going to do some tests on Substance Painter, the two versions, the new version and the a little bit old version. I mean, it's, nothing has changed uh, greatly. And I found some problems. And before I forget, if you have a legal version of Substance Painter, don't update your NVIDIA um, graphic card. Don't do it. I know that sounds uh, not cool, but don't do it. I have this version, the 462. But if you get this version, um, both Substance Painter are going to give you problems with uh, the GPU check. So I don't, I don't recommend you to update your, your, your graphic card because um, it's going to be, it's going to give you troubles. Don't do it. Um, keep the oldest version you have. As soon as these people um, fix that. If you have the newer version of your NVIDIA car, that's great. Don't, don't go back if Substance Painter is not giving you problem. But back to my point. Yeah, uh, you can see here in the video how everything changed. Everything completely changed and... I'm not against change, that's cool because uh, when you belong to the 3D industry or you work for the 3D industry, change are always good because you receive updates and stuff like that to make better experience on software. But sometimes those updates are not really cool. So um, I want to talk about first about my license. I highly recommend you to get a uh, and a Steam license. I used to have a, a pay license, uh, you know, for months, pay that monthly or even yearly for the whole package. And I realized that it's not so useful like having an Steam version. I'm living in Colombia right now and prices are, let's go here to store. Prices are, let's go and write Substance Painter. Okay, here. And um, prices are, are are here represent on uh colombian pesos and in my personal opinion it's cheaper it's greatly cheaper it's like um 60 dollars for the whole software of course for indie creators like me like like, like you know you, if you are an independent creator i recommend you to get this version even right now at this moment for this special promotion they have a discount but normally it is like 67 to 65 dollars for the whole license okay so why i have the steam version because when i used to have the other version directly from uh, adobe at the beginning of the acquisition was not too cool was not too cool it was really expensive to be honest of course you have a little bit more of support, of client support, of user support, but yeah, it's not so, you know, necessary in that case. So, um, 
if you want to buy or if you want to get Adobe Substance Painter, even the logo change, um, you must, I mean, uh, let's get rid of this. Let's talk about dollars. That's better. And if you click on buy now, they have to package. The most expensive one have the whole suit, even the 20% off because of the new update of Substance Painter. $40 per month. That's it. No yearly subscription or anything like that. And here too, and a small uh, suite, but if you get prices, I, I mean, paying three months of this package, I can get uh, Substance Painter from one year on Steam and you can still get um, um, client support or, 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 or user support. And it's really cool to be honest. If one of the best user support I had ever in softwares and um, jumping from prices, let's go and talk about Substance Painter. So um, I was on my library and back here to my library. The cool thing about um, Steam is that you can get your old version of Substance Painter or the Substance Suite. So I used to have here the older one, the 2020 and the 2021, the new one. So I made a small test on both and I don't like it. I, I, I mean, I'm not going to talk about that technically. I'm going to show up here on the video uh, how it looks. I mean, how is the performance um, uh, moving? Just sorry for my, for my English. So we have the two versions. The new one, you can realize about that because of it, uh, this have the new Adobe logos and the older one that still my favorite, not because if all is all is because it's way better. So back to here, I have this one. I have a J toad. I have tons of, uh, of, uh, projects, but I rather to do this with an open sample. So you at home, you can do that. Open your sample here on file, click on file, click on sample and yes, uh, this car and you can choose whatever sample you want. So let, uh, let's go to JTOE because JTOE file is one of the most heavy render. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it demands performance from GPUs because Substance Painter is based on GPU. But before jumping, jumping on this stage, let's uh, talk about what's new on Substance Painter 2021. So I click here, major update, and just straight to the point, it have a new panel to make easy or easier on the shelf to choose stuff, uh, material, even assets and stuff like that. So that's cool. And a new default shader support, that's great, clear, co uh, clear code and an isotropic advance so uh, surface scattering, that's killer. That's great. That's really good to see this update on the new Substance Painter. The performance quality, it's, uh, they say that it's a little bit higher, even sharper normals and much faster painting for projects. Painting strokes, um, not too, I mean, it's not so real. It's not so true. But of course, I'm just only one, I mean, I'm just one one artist from thousands of thousands of thousands that have license on Substance Painter. So this is just my opinion. New features, automatic uh, UV's ability to constrain UV rotation, uh, view dims and so on and so on. That's great. And many more improvement. And I don't know what they are, but um, here on the dedicated article, uh, you can find that. So let's close this. Again, I have the Steam standalone version. It's great. You can save more money. You can, uh, you know, take care of your pocket, to be honest. And let's go now to the software. This is the old one. You can check that out. Uh, looking at here, up here on the Substance Painter red icon and here is green. And also down here on my computer icon, you can check that out too. So the most important thing, let's say that we finish our project. This is our finished project because I have another uh, videos on the um, on the channel talking about Substance Painter. So paint easy. You can paint. I can see that it's a really fast stroke. Like always, let's get rid of this. 
with Control C and go back here to the new Substance Painter. Still faster, like always. Even I can create a new uh, merge, uh, a new layer, uh, change color, red, and I can paint. No problem with that. I mean, I don't know if that is in, it's really improved in that point. So Control C to return and. My main point, what is annoying me about the new update is about um, the render performance. The render performance, I don't know what they have done. I don't know why I need to return to older NVIDIA drivers to make this run. And um, let's do a test for 10 seconds. So this is the old version of, of Substance Painter. Let's go here and reduce this, make this most closer possible to the other, make it look, okay, I'm going to do the test on the old one, click on the small camera here, with 10 seconds, I got 46, 46 samples, uh, samples, sorry, iterations in this case, on these samples, um, yeah, 10 seconds, I got 46, but if we go to the newer version of Substance Painter, the 2021, I got six, six samples, six samples, six samples on 11 seconds. I don't know why, but that's normal. And here I got 46. So that's almost a little bit more than the 200% of performance, boost performance using the old Substance Painter, and I don't know why, honestly, why is that problem um, uh, throwing up that problem? Gratefully or thankfully, I have the Steam version, so I can go back into the older version of Substance Painter without any problem in this case. So, um, how to explain this? I have even the same resolution here, and I got even here more resolution. Uh, 920, but let's do this in the best way possible. And I get now 10 samples, uh, less 10 samples, uh, I mean, minus 10 samples. So it's not 46, it's 35. And even if we go here, you can check out the difference of, uh, of, of, of the quality of the image. At the end, of course, this looks better because have more samples or iterations and this not. And we have the same resolution here. So again, I can't believe why the guys of Adobe do this. I'm on the new version now. Uh, you can check that out if you see the, the, uh, the green icon up here. And shows up um, really, really, how to say it, I mean, it's cool, but it's not cool at the same time. And this downgrade, downgrade on GPU render is huge. Uh, for me, it's huge. That means time. And time, of course, is money. So I don't know why they do that, why they have done that. I hope they fix that so we can use or I can use the new Substance Painter. And if we go down here and I click, let's go and look after shader settings and I have so, uh, subsurface gathering active and in the new Substance Painter 2 I have that active too you can check that out on oh it's not here mm, I think okay okay here it is here it is 32 the count and here must be 32 too uh, translucent scale Color, this is um from no ground placement and tessellation, MDL parameters, uh shader settings, environment settings. Let's go down here. Okay, here it is. I have the same scattering distance like here, and I can't believe why this version of Substance Painter have much more improvement. I don't know why this is the new version. I'm still, I can't believe it. I can't believe it because for so many years, so many years, Substance Painter has been so cool software, but this, this small detail for me is kind of annoying, kind of annoying. 
why is this happening? Why this downgrade on iterations? I have an RTX 2060 super car, eight, eight uh, gigabytes works, works kind of like the 3060. You can check out numbers on, on, on the internet, of course. And this car has never ever give me problems or downgrades without any problem. What I cannot understand is why I need to downgrade even the uh, the driver too. I have NVIDIA Studio, this older version because Substance Painter wasn't working and is one of my main tools on my workflow as a freelancer or studio owner so far. So um, I think this is all. I hope these guys from Substance Painter can fix can fix this or or sorry, no more guys from Substance Painter, no more algorithm guys. This are from this come from Adobe. I hope Adobe guys can fix this. And still waiting, still waiting. Sadly, still waiting till uh, they give a solution to finish this. Okay, guys, um, thank you for spending your time here. I hope this uh, new video helps you and shows you up um, what this, this new thing about Substance Painter 2021 is about. If I'm, doing some, if I'm doing something wrong, please, if someone can comment that on me or, or explain that to me, what I need to do to make that work. I have been, I have done a lot. Restart my computer, reinstall the new uh, drivers, change the stuff, reinstall Substance Painter and so on, clean stuff on my computer and still give me problems. Still giving me problems and I don't know why so far. So uh, take care guys. Uh, again, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this is not a usual video I do about tutorials and reviews. Uh, this is a review a little bit more uh, worried about changes on this really great software and I personally don't want to change it. There are very great solutions outside of Substance Painter, great softwares, but I personally don't want because I really like this. It's really cool and powerful. So um, my uh, usual message after a long day, I know it's really cool to do this kind of videos and that stuff. But if you feel lonely, if you, if you feel broken, um, check out Chatbot Ali a link on my description on the channel and you can ask for questions there that you can find out. I, I mean, you can find solution or you can find real comfort about uh, about loneliness through Jesus Christ. So that's my invitation. Feel free to, to accept it. And till next video, thank you again for spending some time here. Bye bye.